One Piece 7 Worst Captains in the Series Number 7. Alvida Alvida is the first major antagonist in One Piece. At that time, Alvida was big and strong. In order to boost her ego, she would regularly ask her subordinates who was the most beautiful woman in the world. They would be terrified, and to save their lives, they would say Alvida. If they laughed or gave the wrong answer, Alvida would beat them to a pulp. She had terrorized her crew, and even Kobe was afraid of her. Thankfully, Luffy gave her a reality check and defeated her swiftly. Number 6. Kaido. Kaido was the captain of the Beast's Pirates, and his crew absolutely adored and respected him. However, Kaido did not share the same sentiment. The Yonko only valued strength, so if an individual was unable to prove himself, it wouldn't matter if they lived or died. Kaido's ideology stemmed from his time with the Rock's Pirates. His captain was the same, he didn't care about the well-being of his crewmates. However, Kaido did seem to be on good terms with King, whom he even freed from the world government facility. Number 5. Blackbeard. Marshal D. Teach is the captain of the Blackbeard Pirates. He started the crew after murdering Thatch and running away from the Whitebeard Pirates. Initially, Blackbeard's crew only had five members, but the number increased after he raised Impel down. He recruited the most diabolical criminals who would strengthen his crew significantly. Blackbeard and his crew have since beaten the remnants of the Whitebeard Pirates, the Heart Pirates, and the Kuja Pirates. Given the fact that his crew has helped him so much, it would make sense for him to have the utmost for them, but that's not the case. When Boa Hancock petrified two of the ten Titanic captains, Blackbeard didn't hesitate to sacrifice them if that meant he could have the Mero Mero no MI. Number 4. Rox D. Zebek. Rox lived many years before the current timeline. He formed the Rox Pirates and recruited the strongest people who would help him achieve his goal of world dominance. Rox's crew consisted of individuals like Whitebeard, Shaki, Kaido, Big Mom, etc. To him, they were all just tools. He did not care what happened to them as long as he got what he wanted. There are also strong indications that he used to beat up members of his crew. Such a person should have never become a pirate captain. Number 3. Don Krieg. Introduced in the East Blue Saga, Don Krieg was the leader of the Krieg Pirates. He was self-conceited and deluded, believing himself to be the strongest man in the world. However, he was nothing more than a coward who hid behind his armor and crew. Don Krieg was abusive towards his underlings, and he would beat them up if they talked back or just spoke their minds. He didn't even value the life of his jinn his second in command, and was ready to punish him for trying to stop him from taking over Bharati. Number 2. Hody Jones. Hody Jones is among the malevolent individuals in One Piece. He was a fish man who harbored a great deal of hatred towards humans. To him, the biggest evil was humans, and he would eradicate them at all costs. Hody Jones wanted other fish men to feel the same way, so he indoctrinated them. If a resident of Fish Man Island tried to be friendly with a human being, Hody Jones would ensure that they would be punished in the harshest way imaginable. Hody Jones held the same energy for his crewmates. If one of them expressed their opinions, he would not hesitate to beat them up. All in all, he was a bad captain and a worse person. Number 1 Big Mom Big Mom is by far the worst captain in One Piece. Like most members of the Rock's Pirates, she started her crew after the God Valley incident. Unlike most crews, Big Mom's crew was made up entirely of her children. At first glance, it seemed like a good idea that she decided to form a crew with her children but it wasn't until later that fans learned that she was abusive towards them. Big Mom made fun of her kids, punished them if they lost a fight, and went as far as killing them if they got in the way.